Bezel Brand is just one of around 4,000 white farmers who were forced off their land by the government in the early 2000s. The 76-year-old now lives in a rented cottage in the capital Harare and has been diagnosed with lung cancer. He says he can't wait much longer for the compensation he is owed. It's just such a boost to me, you know. Even though they're my kids, you don't want to be burdening them and friends and relatives and family, you know. And, uh, yeah. It's huge. We've been waiting for 20 something years in anticipation, and yeah, nothing's happened. Meanwhile, Carrie Lynn Kay has been trying to get help for friends and colleagues in a similar situation. She says the average age of the farmers waiting for financial compensation is 82 years. Many of their children left and went, say children, adult children, left and went. Uh, overseas, a lot to Australia, some New Zealand. Um, yeah, so they, although they've been able to help the, the aged parents, it hasn't been easy. And for those that haven't got people that can assist them, have to rely on on, on charity, which is which is very hard when you've run your own business, you've owned your own farm. The Commercial Farmers Union, the body that represents the farmers in negotiations with the government for compensation wasn't available for comment amid allegations it's now sided with the government in this process. Prince Kuyipa says it's important that the government settles these claims quickly. So when you try to sell your commodities uh, uh, you ex to export them, sometimes, not always, you might find that it's not so easy because they would want the, um, the land issue to be resolved first and therefore they, you are cleared and then you can market your, your, your products. So it affects even the farmers who benefited from the land reform. The government says it wants to close the chapter as soon as it raises the necessary funds through taxes or bonds. It's a large sum, so it's not going to happen overnight. They understand that, they know. And uh, we also internally are trying to come up with different uh, methods of, uh, of revenue so that we can compensate them in the shortest amount of time. And as soon as we get that money, uh, we will uh, very gladly pass it on to the former farm, former, uh, farm owners. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's something that, uh, that we are trying to expedite as much as we can. The government says once these compensation cases are closed, it wants to refocus on Zimbabwe being the breadbasket of the region. Columbus Mafunga, Africa Matters, Arare.